Welcome back. We're going to continue our discussion on the topic of concentration. After I finished regarding the previous video and I said we're going to move on to uh, more fraction, but then I decided, well, how about I do one more problem just from a different vantage point to see if you actually can apply the knowledge from the previous video into solving the problem in the current video. And what that really means is, can you think? Are you paying attention to the material when you listen to me talking on the video? Are you paying attention? Are you paying attention to key terms when I say them, all right? So here's what the problem is. We're still on the topic of mass percent. I want you to actually determine the mass of oxygen, okay? Mass means I want you to determine the physical quantity in terms of grams of oxygen in this compound. So to actually determine the mass of oxygen in this compound, you have to first actually determine the mass percent. So the first part of this problem is exactly a duplicate of the previous problem, okay? So first you gotta determine the molar mass of this. And that would be, I believe titanium is, 48, so 48 plus 2 times um, 16, which is 32. So it's 48 plus 32 is 80, right? Grams over mole. Now, Yeah, one mole, right? Good. Now, you got to first determine the mass percent of oxygen. Now, how do we know? How do we do that? How did we do that in the previous video? We have one titanium and two oxygen, right? So we're only focusing on oxygen. So you just have to only focus on oxygen. So this means it's two times 16, which is 32 grams over one mole. So mass percent of oxygen is 32 grams over one mole over 80 grams over one mole times 100 percent equals 32 over 80 times 100 which is 32 over 80 times 100 is 40%, right? That's the mass percent of oxygen. So if the total mass is 25 grams, what's the mass of oxygen in it? Well, that's 25 grams times, you have to do, you can multiply by 40, you have to multiply by 40 over 100, which will be 25 times 0.4, that's 40 over 100, is 10. So if you, if you were to actually physically write 25 grams of this compound, 10 grams out of that 25 grams is your oxygen. And that's all this question is asking. So this whole thing that I've just put under bracket, this is how you typically do any mass percent calculation, which includes even this. I'm just gonna put this as well. All of this make up how to calculate mass percent. But the next step is this problem, which I'm gonna put it in probably a giant oval, sort of oval. This is this problem. So if you learned how to, apply, how to calculate mass percent and the real meaning of it, then even without me explaining it, you should be able to do the part that's inside the oval but I've actually worked it out. So if you've had any confusion on how would I do it without you telling me, well, now I've told you so you can actually do it. And that kind of summarizes the idea of 
mass percent, that means we're only left with mole fraction. And that should kind of wrap up the whole idea of how to calculate concentration. Now, keep in mind, these are the most primitive and no exception or confusing um, terminology being thrown in, or there are no um, you know, extra steps that you have to do. Problems that fall under these domains for each concentration category are going to be the same irrespective of what the compound is. The logic is the same. As I said, there are some exceptions, but we're going to get into that once we're actually proficient with how to do these basic four types of concentrations here. All right, now stay tuned for the concentration um, learning uh, topic of uh, mole 